Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the KitchenAid dishwasher dish rack support. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new dish rack support. The dish rack support goes in between the rail and the lower dish rack. The main reason you be changing out is if it's damaged and the rack is loose or the lock is broken off and the rack keeps coming off the rails when you pull it out. In order to change the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door. Now that you have the door open, we're going to pull the lower rack out. Once you have it out, we're going to lift the silverware basket up, set it aside. To get the lower dish rack off, there's a locking tab on each side. So you want to lift up on both at the same time. We pull it out. Once you have it off, we can put it up on the countertop so we can change the support. Make sure you set a towel down so you don't scratch the countertop. Before we take the support off, we're going to have to take the tine row out. So we're going to have to release it from this end and then carefully flex it and pull it out of the other support. You just want to be careful. You don't want to over flex it and bend it too much, just enough to get it out. Once you have this end out, you can pull the other end out and set it aside. Now that we have the tine row out, we're going to flip the dish rack over to make it easier to change the support. To release the support from the rack, there's a couple tabs right here we have to release. So we're going to put a little pressure towards the back while we press in on the first one so it doesn't slip back in. We can press the second one and do the same thing. Once you have it released, we have to push it in so the, this part drops off. And then pull it down so the little locking tab comes off. If you have to, you may lift up the dish rack and pull it out. Once you have it free, you can pull it off the dish rack. Here's the old dish rack support next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new dish rack support in, we're just going to line it up and lift up the rack. And you want to put the locking tab over this rail. And kind of lift it into place. You want to make sure that this tab here goes over this bracket. Once you have it in place, you can push it towards the front of the dish rack to lock it in place. You want to make sure the tabs go over those bars. Once you have it installed, you can flip the dish rack back over so we can put the tine row in. To put the tine row in, you just want to put the side in that locks first and push it back. And then we're going to flex the other end just enough so it goes into the opening. Once you have the tine row back in, you can lock it into place and we can put the rack back in the dishwasher. When you put the dish rack in, you want to make sure that the flat right here goes inside the rail right here and that the upper rib of the rail goes in the slide right here. So when it goes forward, it locks into the locking clip. Once you have this side on, we can do the other side. Now that we have the dish rack back in, we can Set the silverware basket in, push in the rack, close the door, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.